Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from clicksgeek.com and today's video we're going to go through Google Ads location settings, right? So it's going to be all about how to set up your location targeting for the most optimal results and make sure that you are not getting clicks and leads and calls from outside of your targeted locations, which is now a common issue that we keep running into with Google Ads, so I'm going to show you how to stop that from happening. So before we get into today's video, make sure that you um, like this video, subscribe to our channel, check out the links in the description. We have tons of free content, courses, all kinds of cool stuff. If you're a business owner who wants us to run Google Ads for your business, there is an application link in the description below this video where you can apply to work with us. And if it's a fit, we can get you launched in usually within 24 to 48 hours. That said, let's get right into the video. So we're inside of our demo campaign here, which is the party bus campaign in our master account. And um, we're inside that campaign, so we're at the ad group level. So if we're going to go into locations, we're going to come to settings, right? And we're going to have our location options here. So there's two things you want to do when entering your locations for your Google Ads campaign, right? You have targeted locations and excluded locations. So essentially what we're doing, this client, this demo client, is in San Diego, California, and San Diego County, right? So that's our targeted locations. So that's what we would add under targeted locations. And excluded locations, we have basically every other state. I think it says 45. We should have 49. But basically, you want to exclude every other state besides the state you're working in. That's step one, right? So once you have that, you would move down to location options. This is really important. You want to have this chosen. Presence, people in or regularly in your targeted locations, okay? We only want to show our ads to people who are in or most likely in or regularly in our target locations. We don't want search interest because that's people who could be outside of your target locations who are searching about things inside your target locations. That's not a good lead. You don't want to do that. Presence or interest also, even though it says recommended, stay away from it. You, we want to reduce the amount of outside leads we get from our target locations as much as possible, and this is how you do that. So we want to choose presence. Exclusions under excluded presence or interest, right? We don't want anyone searching for stuff that we're excluding. We don't want anyone in any of our locations that we're excluding. So that's kind of common sense stuff. Then you would just hit save, right? Then we'll come down here to location tab. You can see here we have our target locations. And if you don't know how to add those, really simple. You just click here and you can add your locations and it pulls up wherever you search here. You can add radiuses or anything like that. So you could put an address and then put a mile radius you want around it. And it, um, so for, let's, I'll just do one for example, San Diego. And then it gives you a big radius of targeting that you can uh, go after. So that's one way to do it. But for this video, we're gonna focus on exclusions because that's where people are getting crushed with out of, out of location leads, right? So you can see here we have our main targeting and we have all of the states excluded. So we're gonna start excluding around, we're gonna start excluding around this as well, right? Just to kind of give it a further layer of protection. So the first thing we're gonna do, because we're right on the border, is get rid of Mexico. All right, next we're going to do Los Angeles DMA. And that takes care of a big chunk there. And you can even go as far as Bakersfield just in case. We'll get rid of all that stuff. I mean, I some campaigns I'll do the whole state besides up here, but it's really up to how granular you guys want to get. Just keep in mind the more you do, the better off you're going to be with um, not getting out-of-state stuff. And, I'm sorry, out-of-location stuff. Alright, so that should be good. Come back down here, we can do Palm Desert too. Well, we want more than that. It's a DMA. Here it is. Perfect. Alright, you can even go as far as trying to get these little cities here. It's really up to you. I'm not really going to mess with that. But um, yeah, so you can see here we have our target location, and now we're telling Google we want to exclude everything, the rest of the country, and everything around our target location. We should probably do Santa Barbara as well. Perfect. There we go. So that's uh, what we're doing there. That's how we do it. And this is going to help cut down the amount of, drastically cut down the amount of out of location leads, calls, clicks, stuff like that that you're getting. Also, don't forget if you if you're using a click fraud software, that's going to greatly help as well. We use ClickSeas, 
They're uh, great software. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Again, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, check out the links in the description, lots of free trainings. And I'll, as always, if you're a business owner who wants us to run Google Ads for your business for lead generation, then you can apply to work with us below.